What are we cooking today, Joyce? I'm making this mint pork with this dry squid. You can get it in like the dry squid store or supermarket. Yeah, we salty. Mm, yeah, I cooked it for like 45 minutes. It's a little softer, but all I need to do is cool the salt. What's that? You pull this. Usually they have a plastic. <laughs> no, like plain plastic. Is that part of the fish? Yeah, part of the fish. And then you make sure that the inside is clean. So is all that dark stuff dirty? No, it just it can be a little chewy. This is a fine dining. Okay. You don't want to soak it for too long because a lot of flavor will, will come off the eyeball. There, like that's a mouth in here. Pull that off because they don't want to pull it off because you throw it away better than they throw it away. You pay for it. Yeah. Bring up the piece, um, the pork small one, before I put it in the food processor. It's a lot of pork. Well, well not for me. <laughs> What part of the pork is that? I the thing is like the shoulder. If you go to the regular supermarket, they might not have all this funny cut. Then what you can do is you can use pork chop. Doesn't that have bones? Yeah, you can cut out the bone. Why are you so worried about the bone? <laughs> Even a little fat is okay. But this is feel like a little bit more um, chewy. The food processor doesn't seem like it cutting the meat as small as a um, Hen chopping. I'm getting lazy learning from home. Yeah. Right? <laughs> My good habits are running off. Yeah. I'm gonna mince some ginger, put it in the pork. Because that's like a fish, you need ginger too. Balance it out. Yeah. Coke said, I like it fishy. Mm -hmm. Cut one side, then we'll be flat. Cut it as thin as possible. Because when you cut it thinner, it, it is smaller. You get a really sharp knife, right, Jules? Yeah. None of the knives in my house. <laughs> you can send it to be sharpened. There's a couple ways to do it. You can cut it really small, and I'm not minting it like that small, because I want to have a little bit of, I just want to cut it bite to it. You know, for the little square. Give it a tentacle. I'm just going to cut it up smaller. Two chopsticks. Let's start the water. Same height. A simple marinade. Cornstarch. Like half a teaspoon, not too much. Because you don't want it to be too starchy. You want to stick a little uh, liquid amino. About half a tablespoon. Dark soy you can put a little bit more because it's, um, this, this dark soy is not as salty. A little bit of sugar. I'm going to mix it up. The corn, give us a chance for the corn to mix it. Because I didn't wrap the pork. Juice come out, which is sauce. Put a dash of oil. I'm going to transfer maybe this thing to be. It's marinated already? Yeah. This, that's why I said Chinese, like home cooking, like Cantonese food, like this, doesn't need a long um, marinade. It's like you go home from work and then you make this and then you have dinner. Maybe this thing's too big. Mix this in. And then ready to be steamed. How long do you steam it for? Um, like 15 20 minutes, and some people like it minted to really small, too. And then some people want the whole piece to put it on top. I mean, you know, this is just a guideline, it's home cooking, everybody home is very different, all, all same depth. And it's and you set the timer for 18 minutes. I'm gonna put a little bit more in it. So I don't want to ruin my walk. That's really good choice. It smells good, right? I have a lot of sauce, too. What is that? Uh, cilantro. Oh, it's covering all the meat. Take your time. Take your time. So
Thank you.